It was the year 2004, a point in time that will change the path and trajectory of an artist by the name of J.J. Lin. He will drop. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know what, <laughs> I'm just kidding around. All right, so basically I'm actually gonna be reacting to Reverse Out, which I absolutely love during the uh, Sing Singapore 50th anniversary performance. I thought it was absolutely a brilliant song. I had no idea that that song was actually what made J.J. Lin JJ Lin, it's the song that propelled him into superstardom, I guess, what made him famous, so it's fitting that I actually found that song absolutely fantastic, and I can't, I, I did send a video that I, I can't wait to actually react to the official music video, and some of you have obviously provided the links to the official music video, and I thank you all, Jen, Cat, Cat for the, um, J, uh, David Foster's rendition of it, titled Eternity. Thanks for that. That was really, really beautiful and subtle piece. Very different rearrangement. Very beautiful, very peaceful, very calming. Yeah, with that said, yes. That was fantastic. Thanks for that link to the um, audio. And Jen for the um, music video and the uh, English translation, obviously. That was absolutely fantastic, sending it my way. Uh, initially, of <laughs> you know what, let me take that back. It was Carol, sorry, Carol 208, or Carol 0208, who actually initially had the links out there. And thank you, Carol. Sorry, it wasn't Jen. But Jen did actually um, find the uh, translation and pointed me to the website, which is absolutely Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Carol. Carol, Carol. Yes, I know. I almost made a mistake over there, but thanks. All right. You know what? I'm rambling on right now, so let's just get the reacting party started. Let's check out JJ Lin's Reavis Out. All right, you say, let's get this reacting party started. Yeah, you could tell very the aesthetic. It's sort of very late '90s, early 2000 feel to it, which is understandable as it came out in 2004. So I'm not surprised it looks that way. Uh, I know, I have to say something before the, the music actually, the instrument, instrumentation actually comes up. That whole sequence actually kind of reminds me of the killer for some reason. I mean, that's the feel I get. It seems like some sort of weird psychological horror thing happening or about to happen with the, with the atmospheric, the atmosphere in the, in the video and the editing. It felt as though it's someone's mind being uh, fragmented or something like that. But obviously, that's not what this song is about. Fong dao zhe li jiu shi nian, yin zhu guo ke de si nian, yu dao le zhe li chen chen xian. Alright, before I continue, I actually I'm just gonna say this and watch the video without actually interrupting. I just wanna listen to it and enjoy it and embrace it. But basically the story's talking about uh I guess a star cross love that trans that's so profound, so deep that it transcends the past, present, and obviously the future. So it's a very, very deep, deeply emotional content about a relationship, a love between these two people and everything that pertains to it. That's the happy, the 
highs and the lows. And yeah, that's that's me paraphrasing the entire song. So it's not ex it's not accurate to whatever, but still, that's that's the basic premise of the music video, which is great. Which is why I love it. I love the beat. I love the music. It's very soothing. It's very calming. Very, I don't know. It's, it's very. There's just that something about it that makes it really special. So, with that said, I am just gonna watch, and I wouldn't pause. And I hope you guys would stay and enjoy the rest of the video with me. Interesting interlude. It's like a a balance of modern and traditional instrumentation. I love that. <laughs> out by KJ Lin, absolutely fantastic, fantastic track. Um, really loved it. I, as I said, when I watched the um, Sing 50, uh, that stood up for me, and I was like, wow, this is absolutely a beautiful, fantastic song. And the original music video did not disappoint. It is absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, that's all I can say about it. It is great. I love the video, even though it was a, the weird filter. It's kind of a grayish blue thing going on there, which is a strange filter. I'm not quite sure why that was chosen, but I do like the the use of um this the change in um in the uh, 
close the costume store or the clothes they were wearing, which sort of signifies different time period or different aspect of different. I guess it is considered as um them taking the same path or them dealing with barriers true at different times just to get towards that same towards the point that they wish to get to which is brilliant so that was beautiful that was great i can't wait to actually go back and listen to it again and then also listen to the david david foster's version of it which is as i said very beautiful very peaceful very calm very instrument it's just basically piano so it is very very calm and soothing which is great just as this version with jg lane is so with that said this is your boy jack don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification button let's see no one next to drop a new vid don't forget to leave comments down below let me know what you think let me know what you want me to react to if you got nothing to say just say hey that's absolutely okay if you disagree with something i've said or you wish to make corrections please do not hesitate to leave it in the comments down below all i ask is that you be constructive about it and i guess that's right about it yeah so with that said this is your boy jack y'all take care and i will catch you on the flip side